you're this perp back with another video and i just got done watching society of the snow this is a brand new netflix original movie and i gotta say this is definitely going to go down as one of their better overall films that they've put out now this does have subtitles but you could also watch the dub which the dub isn't that bad so when i saw this trailer it just instantly reminded me of yellow jackets obviously minus the supernatural weirdo shit that happens in that show you have this uh uruguayan uh rugby team that gets the opportunity to go to chile you know what i'm saying and they invite some of their loved ones to take this trip with them then all of a sudden on this plane ride the plane crashes in a freak accident there's about 40 they said there was about 40 passengers and five people that were part of the crew and a lot of people died within that crash and you have our main character here noma which he pretty much is our narrator and our main character of the story and kind of just breaking down exactly what went down in those mountains when they crashed so it pretty much becomes a whole movie of survival and i like how they don't waste any time getting right to it like after the first night everybody's like yo we gotta prioritize the people that are injured and barry are dead and try to figure out how we're going to survive until we can get rescued and the things that they go through for about what was it 71 days or 70 days is just in crazy some incredible crazy stuff that not a lot of people would be able to survive if they were had a certain mindset like just there's so many different things and obstacles they have to deal with other than just it being cold sometimes they'd get buried by the snow and you know just figuring out what we're going to do with food like resorting to cannibalism you know that's why i say that there's that kind of yellow jackets kind of theme overall with this movie but this was a very fantastic story overall because i didn't know anything about this story so as i'm watching this play out you don't know who is going to survive who's going to make it out alive is anybody going to make it because it just seemed like all hope was damn near lost in a lot of moments in this movie there's a lot of emotional beats throughout this movie as well as far as dealing with these characters obviously like these people have been together a long time some know others better than the next but it's the fact that you know they look at each other as like brothers or we have to kind of put our bullshit aside to kind of survive as long as we can and we can't really give up because if we give up we're just we're just gonna just lay here and i just felt like this was a really dope survival film that has just a shit ton of emotions so definitely get your uh tissue box ready because there's some really graphic scenes especially that cr plane crash itself that shit was so graphic and it's just like man and it just sucks that there are so many people that get put into these situations in real life where they just get stranded on like an island or stranded out in the snow where you have to just kind of fend for your yourself and survive but yeah i definitely would recommend checking this out on netflix right now um if you do get around to checking it out, let me know your thoughts of it in the comments below. Till next time, I'm out.